Hey everybody, Jim here to let you know that this episode of the Weird Science DC Comics Podcast is brought to you by the Hulu original series Hellstrom. Right in time for Halloween, Hellstrom is a mature, suspenseful, mysterious, scary, dark, thrilling, chilling, authentic, edgy, action-packed series. It's produced by Marvel Television and is more horror than hero and perfect for October, the scariest month of the year. The best thing is you don't have to wait until Halloween to get your treats because all the episodes of Hulu's Hellstrom are now streaming only on Hulu. I mean now. You go over now, you're going to be watching the Hellstrom. Hellstrom is essentially the story of a very complicated family, a woman who fell in love with a bad guy, discovered it much too late, and a horrible, traumatic family incident that tore everyone apart. I mean, that is crazy enough. It's a story of two broken children who were estranged and raised separately, becoming two very different people. And this is not a story about kids discovering their powers and being all happy and all about that. They're adults who have grown up apart and now have to learn to deal with the emotional baggage they've acquired throughout the years. And most families have skeletons in their closet and demons, stuff like that. I know my family's crazy enough. Nothing like the Hellstroms. And again, the best thing is you can go over right this instant, go over to Hulu and start streaming the Hulu original series Hellstrom right now. Now, on with the show. Hey, everybody. Jim here to let you know that the episode tonight is a show that we do on the Patreon. Each month, we end up doing a Back Issues podcast for DC Comics and Marvel Comics, and they are picked by a poll from the badass. This is the Get Fresh Coop. Beep, boop. And this episode is from a year ago. It is me and Eric going through Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, number 23, from 1957, an issue that is Jimmy Olsen, the bearded boy, where Jimmy tries to infiltrate a, a group, the beard band, a bunch of guys with beards. And then they try to use him to make beards more popular because he's pals with Superman and just crazy craziness ensues. So I want everybody to just have some fun with this. I want to put this out there to let everybody know and see and hear what we have on the Patreon, some of the episodes and things that we like to do, especially at this point when some of the books coming out right now that we do the regular feed podcast. We're a little down on those just to show you that we do have some fun over on the Patreon when you can deal with some older things and stuff like that. This being a Silver Age issue from 1957, but I'm not going to talk any more about it because it kind of spoils things. So I hope that everybody enjoys this. And if you do and you want more stuff like this, like I said, this podcast itself, we have every month both a DC version and a Marvel, but we have a ton of other things, including, if you like this, a Silver Age podcast that we do each and every month as well. But listen in, and if you do like it, go over to patreon.com slash weird science and sign up for all sorts of things. And if anybody ever had any questions about the Patreon, things like that, you know, give me give me a ring. You send me an email, a message on Twitter, anything like that, and I could certainly ask all of your questions before. But here we go, me and Eric talking about Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen podcast. I believe, Eric, isn't it still November? It should be. I think, I think it is. Well, technically, you haven't shaved yet, so I still think it's no shave November. I shaved this morning. Oh, so take you ruined and, and I, I shaved ruined my it. head. I shaved my head as well. Did so, you leave a little patch uh, like a psychopath? Up, well, no, there's a big patch on the top, I was told. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, because most of my sons are taller than me, so they saw that. But uh, this was going to be in November, and we completely forgot about it. And now we're going to do it now with the uh, December one in a double feature. <gasps> They'll both be coming out at the same time, pretty much. Um, but because it was so no not a double November, feature. well, it's kind of. You end kind up of. having one movie come out, you know, and then the next one has about that to brief start. intermission? Yeah, they have like a little bathroom time You don't time end in between. up having both of them together. It's not like you don't have the credits and stuff. So we end up doing Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, number 23, from back in the day, back in 1957, September 1957. Way back exact. in the day. And it is an issue, uh, or at least story, called Jimmy Olsen, the Bearded Boy. <laughs> and that's why we had it up there <laughs> on the deal. And I know man? that most people, he's not a wolf man, All but right. he might as well be. 
I mean, throughout all this, he pretty much does look pretty much like Rip Van Winkle, but he goes through a lot of personas uh, to try to convince people in town that beards are cool is all this is. Give it time, Jimmy. Everybody will have one eventually. And the the funny thing about this is it's just you know about Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, of course. Everybody knows of Turtle Jimmy. And then even later with Grant Morrison, I believe it was possibly that had the Doomsday Jimmy and, and all these Jimmy. Dev- yeah, all these crazy things that have happened to Jimmy. A lot of crazy Th- things. This indeed. might be the worst. This might be the most ridiculous thing. And it's not just because it's ridiculous that Jimmy grows a beard. It's ridiculous why. He grows a beard. It's ridiculous what he about does this with that the beard. Ridiculous. No, this whole entire story is. It's and it's just so funny ridiculous. to me too because thinking about this, I know we're going to do this whole thing, knowing that this book came out in September 1957. I was thinking to myself back when I was a kid when I watched Planet of the Apes for the first time. At that one point, you know, when you have Charlton Heston shaving his face there, Shaman. and Zira's are like, "Why do you shave it off your face for it?" And I was like, "Well, in my world, it's, it's looked at as immature." And I'm like, "That came out in '68, so even at that point, you know, 11 years later, people are still thinking the beards are immature and not cool." Yeah, to me, it was maybe a beatnik yeah, thing. That's where what you I always ended think up of. Having the lazy layabouts. And then also, I would think that at that point, a lot of people would shave just for work. So you would end up thinking that somebody with a beard's a hobo. They're not uh, hard workers. <laughs> well, the, the, in Metropolis Lofer. at this point in 1957, they, they have a group called the Beard Bend, and they would disagree, and they want to bring beards back. They and that's legit. basically the setup of it. It is written by Otto Binder, pencils by Kurt Swan, inks by Ray Burnley, and edited by Whitney Ellsworth. And I want to just bring out the idea that Whitney Ellsworth was the editor because that was the last line of defense to stop this nonsense <laughs> story. And, and look, look, did go not back stop to it. the 50s and look at more of these comics that are all oh, ridiculous at the well, time. If, if you you, end it's up, stuff like this where I look back and I wonder how were comic books actually something that like maintained all this time and actually grew I, with a culture well, stuff like that to be legitimate that. stories. This is the nonsense that ended up being like, oh man, you know, the comics code brought this up. No, they're not for grown ups. Look at this joke. And and it starts off right away in the opening page. And they always have that big, you know, Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen page. And it, it sets up the story. Up, yeah. It's because there's a couple uh, but of the thing books. is, they usually have these opening pages of all these stories and, and a bunch of things, even regular full issues at the time, where they'll have this one page that doesn't really make sense in the comic, but it gives you that first page look at what it's going to be. What it's going to be this point, like. Jimmy has a full beard. I mean, this is a Rip Van Winkle, maybe. Can you just say full beard? Nine this feet. would go down past his feet. It would. It would go past. And it it's is easy accidentally, is yeah, really, it accidentally hooked into Superman's belt <laughs> as happen? Superman's <laughs> flying away. And Jimmy says, holy cow, my long beard got hooked accidentally in Superman's belt. I'm being dragged along <laughs> as he flies where Superman, who has a lot of powers, he has supervision. <laughs> he goes, huh, I have a strange feeling someone's uh, following me. Jimmy supervision, is almost, not super uh, smart. I'm telling you, uh, no. Not super smart at all. And also, I have to just mention that this is the 50 strong Superman at this point. He looks kind of fat, and it is never leg day for this Superman. He's got his, his legs, legs bent. It's just hard oh to see. Oh, my God. His legs are like it's chicken so legs, tiny. and he's got a very thick look to him. When you end up – and back in the, the 50s look, I think – like his gets thighs you. are only like three inches long. Yeah. So but when, you're, when your waist and your stomach is bigger out than your chest, that, that to me is 50s, you know, 50 strong. Oh, I'm a 50 but strong man? You've been 50 strong man for a while. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we start off and basically the whole concept is Jimmy, cover border, cover Jimmy, border. Yeah, he wants to get a exclusive. There is this beard band secret men society <laughs> of bearded men the beard and band he needs to know what they do in this club and it's going to be the big story he's going to end up breaking the news to everyone so he ends up trying to go in disguise and what jimmy thinks of disguise to get into the beard band he can't grow a beard he's too young yeah. he gets a false beard also, might have just picked up a, a tree branch that was laying around. He is acting as if he is 70 years old. I don't know why he's going that route. 
He doesn't need Look, to pretend. Whether he can grow a beard or not, everybody in here has beards that are at least three years of growth going. So yes. I don't think you just well, like have five o'clock shadow and join the beard band at this well, point. As, as we're going to see as we go on, uh, Jimmy does go in and he ends up, the guy opens the door. <laughs> he realizes, number one, it's a false beard. He ends up yanking it. And then he knows also right away, you're Jimmy Olsen, the cub reporter, A. The dishonor, the noble beard. Go! And, and this is the whole thing. They He dishonored the beard. <laughs> so he sends him off. Now, the same I, I, guy... I, I, I'm saying, I don't know if this is an art problem or something they just didn't think about when they are doing this whole thing way back in 1957, but the guy who turned Jimmy down and shows the whole fake beard, Jimmy walks away yes. de- defeated and discouraged. This only guy's to be a, confronted a chameleon, by though. The same man who Jimmy doesn't seem to understand is the same no. man who just cut him out and says, well, you know what, guy? Do I have a deal for you? (laughs) Listen, look at the page, too. You go. And this guy, because Jimmy just gets to the nearest trash can to throw away his (laughs) stick. I don't know why he's throwing away this hat. It's It's a fancy hat. That is a nice hat, yeah. He throws away the hat, the stick, and the beard. The, The same guy who just kicked him out comes running and says, I saw you trying to get into the beer band meeting. I bet you Uh, did. I bet you I could get you in by having something to grow a real beard hey, I got now this beard tonic here look at the deal though this guy's beard is is white uh-huh. and then it goes back to black yeah. it's it's a, a lot happen a lot throughout this He's issue but it's the same guy he didn't even change no, no the thing this, is, point. this is not even the biggest problem because the thing is we have jimmy he takes the man up on his offer. the strange man who he did yeah. not recognize from five seconds ago no. he takes no. him up on his offer drinks the beard tonic and immediately <laughs> grows a beard now he's going to yeah. go into the beard band and there's going to be a man on stage giving the whole like you know society kind of like opening yeah. kind of deal in a different suit but he recognizes that man oh. as the man who gave him well, the beard tonic in a different ha- suit. how about this let, let's step back a second. Let's step in. Here we go. He goes up to the door. The guy comes out originally. Yeah. He pulls off the false beard, throws it down, <laughs> says, hey, you dishonor the beard. Get the hell out of here. Jimmy walks off, gets three steps away. The same guy goes up and says, hey, I got this tonic for you that will grow a beard. Jimmy's like, what? No way. I'm too young. No, try it out. He drinks it, grows a beard, Holy cow, it's the working. guy. Then Jimmy goes and knocks on the beard band door again <laughs> to have the same guy answer <laughs> and pull clothes. his beard. <laughs> same clothes and pull his beard and says, oh, my, you passed the test. And Jimmy's like, oh, man, I passed it. What a scoop. And he goes in. It's the most ridiculous. But when he goes of in and you fellow. have the guy who's in then charge said, of the society. Changed. Hey, old bearded brothers, <laughs> as you all know, people laugh at our noble beards. But very soon their ridicule will change to respect. Yes. Thanks to Jimmy Olsen, Superman's pal. You know me? Say, he's the one who sold me the beard tonic. But yeah, now he is wearing different clothes than the three other times yeah, he's met him already. the guy has different clothes on now. With, within five minutes, this guy has met Jimmy three, four times. Jimmy finally recognizes him. This guy does recognize. And as he goes in, he's like, huh, I wonder if I'm going to find out about all these beard fanatics and what weird stuff goes on here. You end up having the Hall of Famous Beards. And, and I only can recognize Lincoln, Socrates, Socrates, Lincoln, and Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> the one guy looks like David Letterman on the bottom. And I think it might be George Bernard Shaw, Eric, is, is who I would guess that would be, but I'm not completely sure no. other guys you, you may have an elf and maybe i don't know what you have i think it might be two of the seven on. dwarfs yeah it, <laughs> but only two made it because well, i guess only two up here so they end up having this meeting also behind the guy who then ends up Talking to Jimmy, he seems to be the leader. Bring back the beard they have in a banner on the the back of the whole deal. And this is the thing. So we we know what the beard band's all about now. Yeah, well, Jimmy goes in and he wants to know with this breaking story what the beard band does. Now, what the beard band does is pretty much talk about Jimmy Olsen. That's all they do because they have decided that Jimmy is going to go off and they want him to go to certain places, big, you know, PR stunts, pretty much, for the beard ban, so that they can push because he's Superman's yeah, pal. So he's he must more legit be cool. than Superman's pal. They know Jimmy, but they don't know Jimmy. I mean, the Jimmy, thing is, we Jimmy. know Jimmy's a bumbling idiot. And so, like, Jeepers, the, my, my, my beard is permanent? What yeah. must I do for the antidote? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, young man, you got to make beards legitimate. And once you do, and everybody loves the beards again, we'll give you the antidote to your beard. You mean a razor? No, yeah, that's what he said. They, they end up where he needs an antidote 
to get rid of this beard and then acts as if there is no other way. I swear, I am Jimmy. The growth of every a beard. morning when I wake up and I look in the mirror, yeah, it's like, I wish. Jeepers, my beard is permanent. <laughs> That's me. I hate shaving. So, uh, so yeah, they want Jimmy to go to different places around town, be seen w- with all the celebrities, and and pretty much have people say, "Oh man, look at that Jimmy Olsen. He's so cool with a beard. I think I'll have one." Though. That's not quite how it works. But I Jimmy love it, runs though. The Beard Man thinks that Jimmy Olsen is so legit, but the people he works with, like, you know, a Perry White and a Clark Kent, yeah. and Clark. they think he's full of it because when he comes back with this big scoop about this whole beard tonic that makes your beard grow and all the, what the Beard Man's up to, they don't believe him, and they proceed to drink the liquid, and then freaking yeah. <laughs> Perry's beard I, immediately grows. I still don't – I guess and because Clark. Jimmy bought – he bought the the tonic. I don't know why they kept it, it like he, they allowed him to keep it, but I guess they just wanted him to go off and give – they give but us money back. Clark though. can't be and affected by chemicals this way. No, but that's so to, the problem. To maintain a secret at any, while this is all going on, he has to rush out, undo his coat that he's wearing. <laughs> Luckily, my coat has a silk lining, which I'll take apart, weaving the threads into a silken beard. Then I'll glue it to my own skin. Yeah, my, he, he's, he ends up making a beard it, out of the inside of his coat because he's afraid Silky's that if he goes felt. in, if he goes in without a beard, they'll know, of course, if he doesn't have a beard, that he has to be Superman. Uh, when he goes in, uh, Perry's already in problem. He's has so much problems in this with this beard. First off, he doesn't even leave his office pretty much through this entire the thing. The beards it seems. are a nuisance. And, and the beard is having problems because now all of a sudden, but a how fan would we just, is putting it right now. Just the whole thing. We have an old man right here, Perry White, a mature adult man. <laughs> like he's Oof, never these beards are a nuisance. But how do we get rid of them, Jimmy? Yeah. How do we get rid of this beard? Well, a razor? No, no, no. I need something uh, a little better. And it does seem, I'm telling you, at one point it does seem like it's supposed to be stuck in the typewriter because he's grabbing it. A a, a fan. He walks by. A fan's just pointing at him. I thought that they were going to have the fan, you know, him getting the beard stuck in the fan going, oh, my, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Instead, it's just flapping up into his face, and he just thinks it's a nuisance. It's growing really fast. By this point, Jimmy... Now has a beard almost down to his waist. <laughs> then he gets ready Past because his waist. the first thing he has to do. Well, I'm telling That's you, for the next one, the leaves, next day. That's there. right. Yeah, and now he's going to get his top coat and tails on to go to a Father Time appears on Earth. A play. day has passed since he has done this. Is when he went to bed, it seems like it was down to his belly button. The next morning, yeah. it's only down past his crotch a little bit. Everybody else's beard should be growing way faster than his, or his yeah, just ends up growing so fast beyond well, this he point. he took a lot of the tonic, and he's younger. It's not that how that sense. works? He goes to this play where he's supposed to be seen with the celebrities, and oh, yeah, he goes he's going and to he's a play, up. so that means Jimmy also has to put on his top hat and tails well, to go. He has his top hat and tails. He kind of looks like Lincoln, and I'm like, oh, no, don't go in the balcony, Jimmy. But he does. He goes in the balcony, and then in the middle of the play, the front row he's, box seat. Supposed, he's supposed to lean forward so that everybody can see. He is beard and hey, people beardy, are they're looking the that's the best is you see some guys pointing up this beard at this point is 15 feet long at least it's hanging down and the play is father time and you end up having father time appears on earth he has this big sickle he tries to go through what is a prop cobweb and accidentally cuts jimmy's you know, beard it's a prop in cobweb, half but a weird yeah. sickle i mean a real it's sickle a, yeah it's a real he ends up Slicing Jimmy's beard, and this becomes the trope throughout this, is anytime Jimmy has something wrong with the beard, people think it's the most hilarious thing they've ever seen or heard. You have, ho, ho, ha, ha. Everybody's screaming and yelling, and you Even end the up press having. come up, you've made a laughing oh, yeah. stock of the beard, Jimmy. Yeah. You've only turned the <laughs> See, I think that's life. it. That is actually the cameraman from the beard yeah. band. He comes up and he says that. And the weird thing is, is he's going to take pictures. Now, Jimmy, at this point, when they're going to take pictures, he has a beard still, and he has a beard that's typically the length of what we saw the other guys in the beard band. So I don't know why it's such a big deal that he got this big, giant beard cut. Well, it grows back very quickly for his a next little too deal. quickly. Well, yeah, because next he's supposed to go to a dedication of a park statue for Robinson, Robinson Crusoe. Crusoe. Yeah. You know, like every town has yeah. that statue of Robinson Crusoe. Well, 
he gets hungry. Before, well, thankfully, I have thing. time for a snack. Yeah, oh, no, my uh, pear caught on fire. I, I don't know what he's making. Now What's I'm going to run my eggs? head into the shower yeah. and douse it down. And then I'm going to – the thing is, he's going to dress up as Robinson Crusoe as Robinson to this Crusoe. whole park dedication for the statue. Yeah. And the only thing that everybody's talking about, not a strange man dressed as Robinson dressed Crusoe. Dressed as Robinson Crusoe. Is that his beard is burnt at yeah. the, the bottom. So he burns the beard and then heads off to this dedication with the same camera. Jimmy, you're making and- beards funny, not dignified. <laughs> Don't fail at the next event or it's else. So ri- it's the most ridiculous thing. This guy is just standing there. He goes, ha ha, look, it's Jimmy Olsen dressed up as Robinson Crusoe. But his beard is burnt, and they start <laughs> laughing. They think it's like, how would you know this? I don't even understand. I like to think they, they can still smell it. I guess. Oh, that stinks it when does. that happens. And he's like, oh, man, you're making beards funny. And so the next deal, he he's like, okay, two down, a bunch to go. I, bad still luck for old Jimmy Olsen. I can still end up getting this Gotta go to the Seven Dwarves exhibit. The Dwarves, Dwarves exhibit next. Yeah, you know, the Seven Dwarves exhibit in town. <laughs> Dressed as <laughs> one of the dwarves. And, and I love that it's not even a Snow White in the Seven Dwarves. It's, it's just an exhibit dwarves. on the dwarves themselves. He's going to go downtown dressed as what only can look like an elf to me but hey he's doing it he's got a bunch of pillows stuffed up uh, to make him look fat his beard is going down to his ankles he ends up turning the corner a cruel fate is hounding you jimmy for around yes. the corner oh no crooks a burst of gunshots <laughs> accidentally <laughs> cut off my beard originally they shoot jimmy's I'm telling beard you, we, off. we see the misadventures of jimmy Olsen here but i think he's the luckiest guy ever because guys were shooting at him at him and all it did was cut off his beard i'm like that was a close shave yeah. It was a close shave there. Do I have that? There you go. There we go. You, you end up having what looks like jewel thieves. They're in front <laughs> of a jewelry store. At least I could use store. my beard tripping a crook and delaying yeah. them until Superman answers my wristwatch signal. So now he is Wonder Woman with the lasso, but yeah, his he beard is. that and is cut continues. off. And this continues. And this is where I thought, okay, well, you know what? Jimmy might be goofy, but getting your beard shot – by a criminal, and then using said beard that's cut off as a lasso to lasso the criminals and get them. I'm telling you, then the beard sorry, this is should superhero. be happy. This, this, is, happy. this is superhero material right here because even when they get it gets shot off by the crooks, I like to imagine it goes into like a Matrix bullet time where he's so fast, yeah. he's able to move his head back he just moves. in time. He cuts the beard off, he picks it up, and then uses it as a lasso to trip the legs. Like, yeah. This is I mean, the coolest this is, guy ever. This is within an instant. He's doing this. And I love it too. Or Jimmy, he ends up tripping the crooks. The end up Sets off the where- wire signal. Superman gets the signal. Unfortunately, he almost forgets to take the fake beard the off. It's glued beard. on, too. Oh, that would hurt. But he ends up taking it off. And I love the, you know, almost like the disassociative disorder he has where he goes, oh, my, I almost forgot to take off this beard that Clark had to wear. You're crazy, <laughs> That's Superman. That's you, Superman. You're crazy. He goes off. And I love, too, at this point where Superman shows up. Jimmy is still just <laughs> collecting his beard. And Superman ends up. It's like he has a, a box of crack. Jumping Jackson. them out of the do- <laughs> car door the car and start shaking the guys out of the car, and then he's like, "Jimmy says, oh no, I ruined another publicity for beards. I'm never going to get the beard fan to give me that antidote, and I'm going to keep growing these super whiskers." And you end up having Superman fly away and says, "And Clark's false beard can't be removed without the antidote either." So he's basically, if they don't get the antidote, Superman. Thinking to himself is like, I, I don't want to keep wearing this stupid no, false nobody beard. Does. I don't want to Everybody has this. different problems because there's a landslide that Superman sees with yeah, his telescopic he's gotta vision. Go up that. And Jimmy then goes off for his next thing, which is appearing on a Rip Van Winkle movie <laughs> dressed as Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van obviously. Winkle, he's always on dressed his up. way, his beard's grown a little bit too long already, and he trips yeah. over it, and, you know, he falls in one, <laughs> one of the famous Metropolis sand pits. <laughs> he just trips on it. Which is it just like, happens. I swear, he it's just quick to be sand. next to a sand pit. He just falls in, and he, he's sinking. He's going to die. He ends up Superman sending the around. signal off to Superman. Superman, busy. at this point. Must be so sick and tired of Jimmy signaling him about something that went wrong with a beard. And he he's busy. He's stopping this whole deal. So what you end up happen is the Jimmy thinks on his feet again. And he cuts the beard off. 
basically shaving, so he should actually get this in mind where he is doing this. But he ends up then lassoing a tree. It's so weird, though, because it seems like he cut it all off, but then he let it grow some more, cut some more off because he <laughs> no. actually tied a knot into a piece of it to get yeah, it longer. He tied so a knot. Like, he has a couple where did deals. You get this? It's this all one piece. thing is growing so quickly now. It is out of control. He ends up lassoing the tree and going up, but. He ended up missing, I guess, the Rip Van Winkle movie. Later, as Jimmy he faces the enraged beard band, you oh, brought disgrace mad. instead of prestige to the beards, Jimmy, so I'll smash your antidote. Yep. <laughs> the guy Holy has cow. one of those. Yeah, my beard yes, will keep basically. growing every day. I'm like, yep, that's how it yeah. works, Jimmy. Yeah, that's how it is. He ends up Wait having like almost like the XXX, like a big thing of the, the antidote. Big jug of antidote. The big jug, and the guy just smashes it right there. Doesn't empty it. He just <laughs> smashes it. I, I want Jimmy to go over because it's on just the lick up the thing with deck. glass. Yeah, he's just licking it, getting glass stuck in his tongue. And then he's like, okay. And now they seize him and they say, okay, we'll have no choice now but to carry out Operation Whiskers. Now they mean business. Now you're <laughs> getting your scoop, Whiskers. Jimmy. And it says, take Olsen to the lab so that he can't warn Superman. Operation Whiskers now. And I don't know why. They just didn't go this route anyway, if this is what they were going to do. Basically, they're going to get this tonic. They're going to make a ton of it. And like a bearded joker, even, or a, you know, they always do this. Everybody's putting something in the reservoir. And they just happen to not be so bad. They're going to put the beard. T- I'm just imagining women, children. Everybody's going to have a beard in Metropolis here Pretty cool uh, because they're going to put it in the reservoir. As Jimmy sits there and has just his his beard that he well, he got realizes cut off. at this he point everybody's hair. busy. It's up to Jimmy Olsen at this point. I love the yep. idea that he cuts his beard off that he has left here, and he's going to like you know we have all these like. Burners around for this whole laboratory kind of thing, yep. so they make the whole beard. Yeah, this thing is working. Whiskers. It's a big like Bunsen burner now, type deal. Underneath. Now, if I can take this bit of beard I have, it hits the He's burner, you. sets everything on fire. He misses the burner completely, yeah. and it ends up just going in the big vat yep. of the beard it's freaking you, tonic. With your sky hook. He throws it in. He goes to Missed. pretty much what would only end up doing is vat. setting that beard on fire. <laughs> it's not going to stop. He thinks it's going to smother the fire. It goes into the vat. He's like, "Oh well, I guess it'll just dissolve." dissolve. You know, like I'm hair. done. I got a beard forever. This is terrible. The guys end up ending up finishing their tonic and like, all right, you know what? This tonic is it's super funny. powerful. If you look at the thing where all the guys are going to drink their own tonic like this, yeah. and you see the one that looks like Jimmy's already a part of it because one guy <laughs> looks just like Jimmy's like, well, he does. better have he another swig. The, he has the same colored coat Hair and everything. Coat. <laughs> so he, they end up taking a swig to test it. I, I don't know. I guess you have well, to test it, but you have to test it. But what everybody needs to know when you're going to make a giant beard tonic to poison, yeah. I don't know about poison, but affect the entire city and yeah. even the world. If you keep going with the whole thing, the one thing that can mess up your whole ingredients, the whole thing, if somebody throws actual beard hair beard in a beard tonic, hair. it makes the beards <laughs> fall it makes out. The, it makes the antidote. It ended up that Jimmy accidentally throwing the beard in the vat <laughs> turned it from what they say, the super powerful beard tonic. It turned it into the super antidote. They all drank it. Now they don't know what they're going to do except possibly grow beards. What luck. Later, My dissolving or, beard changed yeah. the chemical formula from a tonic to an antidote. I'll drink some right now. Yep. He grabs that. He drinks it down just like he seemed to have done a panel before and then ends up getting a bunch of. So he could go and give it to Clark and Perry. In the meantime, Superman just shows up and destroys all the equipment. I, I just and these wish poor Perry guys are didn't done. get so involved in his work throughout <laughs> the day and didn't like uh, would have remembered Perry. to cut his beard. Because when Jimmy gets back with the antidote, it seems that the beard has overrun <laughs> Perry's office and he <laughs> can't move out of his seat. Him? It actually it's a live it tied gym. him to his own seat. He's Rapunzel. The beard tonic he was alien. It's going to take over the world. And, uh, yeah, Superman does. And the, the one guy's like, our beautiful beard's gone. That finishes the beard band. <laughs> Sob. And then you and Jimmy show up. Hey, here's the antidote, Chief. And throughout of this whole thing, every time Jimmy would talk to Perry, like every hey, time. Chief, you got the beard. Don't call me Chief. He kept That's saying that throughout. Issue. Yeah. And now this one, he actually lets him call him Just Chief. Give me the time. Why don't you call me Chief? He just wants the antidote before his beard pretty much chokes him out. It's what's going to happen. It's a boa completely constrictor ridiculous. Around him. 
Yes, it is. But that's that's the end. Oh, the, the crazy <laughs> world of Jimmy Olsen. Oh, my the goodness gracious. The November edition of the Back Issues podcast. Yeah, yeah. So I, I knew that it would be fun to yeah. talk about. We just, just re- I, about I, it. I have so, read it. It's so short because it's just a one like story out of like three within one of the old Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. And I've read this so many times because it is only like nine pages long, this whole thing. And it just gets more and more ridiculous every time oh, I read so it. so ridiculous. Every time you read it, you figure out something else. I'm like, that same guy, he, he answered the door, tested at the beard then he sold him the tonic then he tested the beard again then he's the leader of the beard ben who recognizes jimmy again and jimmy and still doesn't know who it is all along for yeah, jimmy olsen to be the jimmy. spokesperson so of beard band. oh my goodness you would expect that maybe they would have sent something to get jimmy on their trail at first but no jimmy just he just wants what to crack the stands? case he just wants to crack the jimmy case olsen the boy cub, cub reporter we've been watching for weeks he shows up at our door and what luck and I will tell you right now, because of all this nonsense, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever read in my yeah, life. In my mind, uh, you can't you. rate something like no, this for yeah, what I, it is. I, that's why I'm saying yeah, it. Yeah. I'm just joking. But it, it's so ridiculous. It's so crazy and ridiculous. But if anybody I, has I a chance to find this whole thing, it is worth reading just because of the ridiculous yeah, nature and, and the whole 50s it's feel. It's not of it. on the DC app. So oh, that, that is yet. a shame. It's not, not yet, Jim. on the DC app. We got to – everybody has to make a picket – Maybe we're gonna for have 2020. To yes, that'd be great. That's my wish for 2020. <laughs> uh, but thanks, everybody, for listening. I, it is a fun issue. It really is. Uh, I'll just give people the wink, wink. You might be able to find it online. Weep a doo. There you go. Weep a doo. I don't want to say that, but if you wanted to. Is that like your magic GD it. word? Boo. That's what it is. Yeah. Do. Say you. Disappear. <laughs> so that is that. But thanks, everyone. 